Hello, we are back in the boat and we're actually re-recording the audio on this one because the waterfall was so loud before it was drowning out my voice. So we are looking through the book and we are going to catch today the sturgeon fish which is the labuga so let's uh, read what it says it says the labuga is commonly found at the bottom of the lake where it feeds on bottom dwelling organisms and sometimes other fish uh, because the labuga never stops growing during its lifetime they reach impressive sizes this species might not be the fastest but once they catch a scent they are on the hunt so that's the one we're going to be catching today so let's see what we've got uh, I didn't think I could see any around there uh, so the bait we're going to use is the salmon so a nice little move there so let's pop the salmon on and we're going to go and fish out that labuga so he is a predator fish so again we're going to have to reel it in slowly so let's throw it in over there and see if we can catch this one so just looking around seeing if we can see any flashes of labuga under the water and um, there's plenty of those other ones those big green ones um, and they did seem to keep going for my bait as well you could just see the tail of one there see so he's going up for it he's going up for it so I have to quickly put it away make sure they don't get it but they, there's so many in there and they keep on trying to take my bait it's very frustrating so let's try again try a different area pretty sure there is one in there just nearer to the waterfall so let's give it another few casts and hopefully we should get one to bite so look at this I think I'm standing up now don't often stand up I have my little seat that I like to sit down on feels weird standing up and fishing so have we got anything I don't think so not yet and the water's so reflective here that it's actually quite hard to even see if anything's under the water and let's try again this one oh there's so many of those so many of those green those large green fish so just turning the boat around a little bit and here i spotted one in the water so let's cast and see if we can get one this one just oh there he is you can see him just at the bottom there just at the bottom of the screen that's the one I'm after so let's see if we can lure him in just slowly dragging the salmon along towards him he's always looking at it mm, no nope, no nope. so I've got this new technique where I sort of just drag it a little bit from side to side so um, that does seem to work sometimes you know so let's just paddle <laughs> paddle in the wrong direction so paddle the boat backwards Let's try and lure him with this off left and right motion. So hopefully he will see the, the salmon swaying around. Need to move the boat a little bit back. He keeps on he keeps on moving moving away. See see what I mean about those green ones? There's so many of them. Just gotta make sure that they don't get it. So he's gone more towards the rocks there. You can just see him in the middle. So let's cast it out further, see if we can drag the salmon somewhere near to him he doesn't seem to be interested that one but all those green ones seem to be interested no he's not even looking at it but look here's another one so this is really cool so another one comes along <laughs> and he sees it straight away makes a beeline for it and grabs it so fantastic so we've got a nice big labuga on the end of the line there he's the one he's the one we're after so tension is on, tension is on the line. So let's see if we can get him. And there's his brother that's swimming around. He's off, he doesn't want it. Still not interested. So let's try and get this one, this one. This one hopefully should be a good catch if we get it. These ones are really big actually. Um, caught one before. I believe the size was about uh, 20, was it, was it 21? 0.88 or something which is the larger size that you can get so I was uh, the book actually was quite interesting it said you could only or well, the range was um, like the bottom end was 21.88 and the top end was 21.88 so I was kind of like oh I wonder if that's the only size you can get and, um, but this one 
does seem to be a little bit smaller as you'll see at the end of the video but let's he's really really tugging on that line there <laughs> we've got to make sure that it doesn't break because these ones are a very very strong fish that's it let's try and lure him back this way yeah he's certainly pulling on that line there he's good look oh he's coming in back under the boat now oh no he's still far away so this one is still a little bit of a struggle yeah it's a shame about the audio I, I've recorded this twice and um, each, each time that my voice just gets drowned out by the by the waterfall and then I don't know if it's starting to rain now but it starts to rain and then the storm comes in and it's just it's crazy so I'm gonna have to re-record re the audio when this happens so hopefully this is still fairly entertaining for you um, I can't remember how long this this one took but um, it shouldn't take too long they're normally about sort of three minutes around around three minutes maybe four minutes just trying to reel them in <laughs> that's me just basically trying to keep that sort of tension on the line I think the the knack that I have is that I, I hold it here so it's got a bit of a bend to it and then when it eases off I'll reel it in see like that so I've got the bend and when he starts pulling really hard and you can hear the line really going I just lower the, the whole rod down in uh, towards the water uh, so it's kind of like you're not always just reeling and letting go reeling and letting go you basically just uh, just lower the rod down so there he's pulling really hard so I just hold the button and let him have it just let him have the line because you don't want it to break so here he is is he getting closer that rain is starting to come down now I can't even see him in the water there so so reflective uh, there are a few fish in there let's try and tug him over back towards the boat is a struggle he really is <laughs> wonder if this is the one where there was a fox walking along the cliff edge there he just sort of walked all the way down the cliff and then sat down at the end that was quite nice I was going to row over to where he was and see what he was up to so this one is the Labuga isn't it so this is like the sturgeon uh, I think I think it's it's a sturgeon fish. There you go. You can see him in the water now. So this is like a sturgeon type fish. Or oh, is this it? No, no. He's still pulling down. Sometimes when the line goes slack like that, he's gone right under the boat now. But that's when you know that he's going to be caught. The line will just go. So yeah. So he's really close to the boat now. So that means he's super tired. He's ready. He's ready to be pulled out. Is that it? I think that was it, I saw it snap. And there he is. There he is, he is the Labuga. So this is a, a lovely big fish. And so when we get him down, let's pop that down there. So you can kind of see see how big he is there. The lovely three teeth at the front, if that's his teeth. He's knocking over all of my stuff. It's a big fish, so he's just knocking all of my trophies over and everything. And when you lay him down, you can see the size of him compared to the boat. He's, he's taking up quite a lot of room. So he has these lovely sort of lines along the back. So here I'm, I'm weighing him because the last one I got was 21.88. So this one you can see was slightly, slightly less if I can get the V right. So that's 18.7 and just over. So the previous one that I caught was about, it was $80 I think I got for it lovely little nostrils he's got like four sort of nostril things on there so the previous one was about $80 so this one I've got slightly less because he's not quite as big still not knocking over all my stuff <laughs> just literally all of my books flying in the water trying to get this thing into the box don't think he's gonna fit but I'm gonna force him in there we go so $68 just over 68 so <laughs> that is how you catch the Labuga. So we should uh, see him in the book, put all my trophies back and stuff. So yeah, so the Labuga. So that was uh, with the salmon. It was near the waterfall and slowly reeling him in. 
and that is how you catch the Lubuga. And there he is. Fantastic. So, if you enjoyed this, uh, please join me again next time when we try and catch another one of our fish. See you later.